one. Hey folks, Romans talks about that which is created shows us about the Creator Himself. We call that general revelation. And on the Smith Farm, we're always bringing out things from nature to teach our kids more about God. And that's what today's about. Uh, Lamentations chapter 3 is one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. And it says, It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. That means this lesson today is very practical for young people. Let him sit alone in silence when it is laid upon him. Let him put his mouth in the dust. There may be hope. Now, I've talked to my sons a lot this first quarter about the dangers of the mouth. And again, we've got gossip, we've got slander, but there's other areas as well where it can cause us problems. In Lamentations, Jeremiah is talking about how to respond when God has afflicted us, perhaps with corrective judgment like he had the people of Israel. He said, keep quiet. Keep quiet when God lays something on you. And again, he said for young people, it's good to bear the yoke in your youth. Well, below me is a decorative plant, and you probably can't see it, but inside here is a duck on about 14 eggs. You see she's raising her feathers there. We didn't know she was in there until she felt threatened, and she started to hiss at us. And that's when we started looking closer, and we actually saw her. In other words, in her time of affliction, she was crying out. She felt insecure. She felt vulnerable. Maybe may angry we were getting too close. And that exposed her. When we go through situations as parents, we need to be careful about how we demonstrate and verbalize that with our kids around. Because again, as parents, we cannot not teach our kids. We are always discipling them, which is both good and terrifying at the same time. When you go through a difficult season, watch out what you say. The Bible says here in Lamentations 3 uh, to keep silent. Why? A few reasons. Number one, it's very easy for us to speak hard thoughts against God. Since God is sovereign, He is all-powerful, He is all-glorious, we know He's ordaining these things for His purposes. And sometimes we don't like that. And so we can think hard thoughts toward God and cause our little kids to think hard thoughts towards God as well. A second reason to keep silent during difficulties is because we can eat up our own faith. We create a, a culture of negativity, a critical culture in our homes, and I see that tendency in my life. I was raised in athletics, and you always were looking at what you did wrong, never what was going right. And so your own words can eat up your own faith. And finally, um, we can spend more time telling others our problems then we spend time telling God. Uh, my sons and I just got through reading the first 72 Psalms, most of which David wrote. And the thing that I came out of that this time with me is that David talked to God about his problems, not to everybody else. And how easy it is to get caught up the other way around. And so parents, this is the glory of homeschooling. We are always teaching our kids, not just about the three R's, but how to live here on earth and to prepare for eternity as well. So as you go through difficult times and afflictions, realize this is a powerful time to teach your kids about the glory of Jesus Christ. This is Kirk Smith with ICHEs. Take five.